Hey there everyone, Paradise Gamer 13 here, and I am obviously not in Solon City anymore. Uh, I'm actually just going to wait and do that in the next part. I'm just going to go ahead and take on the gym now, because there's actually not that much to do in Solon City, unfortunately, as I thought there was initially. Um, so, we're just going to... Are you not going to fight me? Okay, there we go. <laughs> just completely... Uh, you know, supposedly these people, these trainers have like psychic powers and stuff, but... Didn't even realize that I was standing like two feet from her. Um, but nonetheless, anyways, what I was saying was, I am just going to combine uh, some of the extra stuff here in Saffron with some of the extra stuff uh, down in Celadon and buy some of the extra stuff I mean, like the one thing. There is something else I can do, and that is talk to like the directors and stuff. They don't actually give you anything until after you get all 16 badges. Um, so that might be something worth revisiting later. This is a pretty cool little item, and I don't even know if, well, obviously, it probably wouldn't be implemented yet because. Not all 16 gyms are implemented yet, but anyways, I should probably actually start talking about where I am right now. I'm in the Saffron Gym, in case that wasn't apparent. Um, it is by far the most confusing um, <laughs> gym there is, really. Uh, and I forgot uh, what's his face is part fairy type, so it doesn't really matter if I use Crunch or not. And I'll just take him out with an Aqua Tail pretty easily. I'm just plowing through this gym. I just totally realized that. Oh, they're only level 48. Okay. They're not very good. Because I feel like Seldon's gym was stronger than that, but I don't really remember for sure or not. But anyways, though... Oh, hey! I grew a level, though. Nice. And another guy. Just the same old thing. Okay, not quite a one-hit takedown, but that's gonna hurt. That hurt a lot. I did so much, actually. But, uh, that being said, um, assuming that Sabrina isn't that much stronger than her trainers here, it shouldn't be too much more difficult than, um, my last fight, so... We'll see, though. I don't want to get too overconfident. Uh, but, I mean, really, actually, though, because now pretty much everyone is, uh, in my party is right about these same levels. So, is that the one I just came up? Whoa! There's no one even here. Ah, uh, there's no one in here either. There's someone in there. I'm just gonna keep going back and forth and seeing where that takes me. Also, it makes me so nervous because it like freezes for like a split second. Oh wait, no, I already talked to you, I guess. I oh, hear something new. I say, I assume you're a new trainer, because also I just teleported into the same room, but... Nonetheless, this should be pretty easy to take this guy down. Oh yeah, the thing about Kadabra, obviously, and this probably, okay, that was a creep, but it really probably didn't matter, because they have such low defense, and I need to watch out for... What the heck? What? Well, I need to watch out for that, too. Level, randomly level 53 Caesar that just came out of nowhere. What is that even? I... I'm... I, hmm. I'm a little lost here. Did Caesar suddenly become part psychic type without me uh, realizing it, or am I missing something here? I'm pretty sure I don't remember any trainer having a Caesar, but maybe they did. And I just don't remember for some reason. And I suppose it's entirely possible, but whatever. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not gonna try to overthink that. So yeah, there's like no. I guess it's just an empty room. So is this... I found that hard to believe. But... I mean, I guess it could be true. I remember there being at least one in the room, I feel like, but, uh... Hey. Okay, that's the guy, yeah. I already talked to you. And I'm pretty sure this is the one I already went to. Let's try this one now. It's so much more annoying when you're <laughs> doing this in first person. Because I, I get so disoriented with the different directions so easily. Oh, good, a new person. Foo, 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 foo. Medium. Oh, I thought it said. Doris. Alright. And that's going to go down pretty quickly. Well, no, it lived. That didn't do much of anything. Psychic is just such a. Er, not psychic. Slowpoke is just such a pathetic Pokemon. But, I don't know, Slowbro is pretty good. And so is Slowking, for that matter. So I guess I shouldn't make fun of it too much. 
Well, that, that it looks like it's crying or something because like it has these two little gray squares, um, and they're just like constantly flashing in and out. But uh, nonetheless, that still didn't do much of anything. Um, I hopefully won't take too much longer to get through this. I hope. Oh, we'll see. Oh, anyways, though, in the next video, and I don't want to get too far ahead of myself here, but in the next video, I will be taking on the, um, that's the one I already went into. Let's try this one. Um, I'll be doing, like, the main thing I'll be doing in the next video will be the, uh, the magnet, t yeah, the magnet train little side quest kind of thing. It's not necessary, I don't think, to beat the game or anything like that, but it makes things a little bit more convenient to travel back and forth between them. Who are you? I forgot that I... <laughs> okay. Well, I gotta be getting close. Is this it? I think. Yes, it is. Sweet. So, let's just use another potion here. For alligator. And... Let's get this started. You're after my badge. I don't enjoy battling, but it's my duty as a leader to confer a badge. So, I'm anyone... Isn't that what Erica said, basically? Or maybe not. That she didn't enjoy battling. Something like that. Maybe not, though. Maybe I'm just imagining that. Let's see if she randomly has any random Pokemon that clearly don't belong in this gym whatsoever. Well, actually, you know, it's funny I mentioned that, though, because I totally did uh, mention in my trivia video that she has a Venomoth in, like, the Gen 1 games. At least yellow. I don't remember if it was in red or blue. Or maybe it was the other way around. But she had a Venomoth, which obviously is not a Psychic-type Pokemon. But it can learn Psychic, so I feel like they probably justified it that way. Especially since... Technically, because um, I know a lot of the trainers had ghost types too, I feel like too, in, that, in the first gen games. Because there just wasn't any, um, very many psychic types on the first generation. And then, obviously, here in the second generation, um, you have Claire's Gym and Blackthorn. A lot of the trainers in there have, like, Horses and Cedros, which technically aren't dragon types yet, but they at least do evolve into a dragon type, whereas Venomoth is not a dragon type at all. Or, psychic type. I'm getting confused at this point. Marsh Badge! That's all that matters. Um, <laughs> so let's see here. What TM am I going to get? Probably, uh, it's not Psychic, because the Psychic guy gives you Psychic. Um, but I'll probably be doing that in the next video, too. Uh, okay, so it's Seal Swap. That's a move that I probably won't be using anytime soon. Um, but <laughs> nonetheless, that is that. So um, I guess I'll actually just go ahead and end this part. Like I said, I'll do the Magnet Train stuff and the... Uh, Celadon Mansion stuff in the next video uh, and kind of wrap that up. And if you guys, so yeah, I'll, while I'm trying to figure out here, I'll just go ahead and wrap up the video, I guess, and do my little outro. Um, so if you guys liked it, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button and also potentially subscribing to my channel. I just ended up back in Sabrina's room, didn't I? <laughs> and also potentially subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and you want to get notified of future content and stuff. And as always, hope you guys enjoyed and thanks again for watching.